Hello and welcome all you Third Eye Gang bangers here for another episode of Two-Face Talk. I know you've seen the title, I know you know what's coming, and yes, the topic is grim. Yes, the topic makes me a little sad, I shed a tear, and all that type of thing, and it's true. The rumors are true, all the people messaging me saying, I think this happened, you're all right. Uh, my Instagram has been hacked. My Instagram has been compromised. No, I cannot flip $500 for you into $10,000. If I could do that, do you think I'd be here making a living off of YouTube? But first, before we get into that tangent about how that happened, how it affects me, where I'm going from here, the silver linings and all that type of thing, we have a few things to go over. First things first, you're going to want to make sure you stick around to the very end of the video because that is when we are going to be announcing, right, the winner of the free merch giveaway from the previous video. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you might be asking yourself, what was the giveaway? How do I enter? Can I still do it? The answer is yes. Every single video, every single Two-Face Talk, every single comment on this YouTube page, channel, whatever you want to call it, when you leave a comment, you're going to be automatically entered into the free merch giveaway. Now when you leave your comment and I make the next video, I pull up the random number generator and I go from the top to the bottom, the top being one, two, three, four, etc. I pick a random number out of the total number of comments we have and if the random generator picks the number that you are, you are the lucky winner, I will send you anything you'd like from my merch store. Now we have a lot of things in the merch store. We have hoodies, we have wall tapestry, we have posters, we have fanny packs, Please, God, somebody buy my fucking fanny pack. Uh, whatever you want, I'll send it to you, and that's how you win. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video for that. And uh, yeah, that's my first point. My second point, my second point is uh, to this episode we're gonna be doing a little game. Now you might have noticed if you see my other episodes, every single episode I've had a little drink, right? We like to get a little loose, right? We like to have fun here. We're all having fun, right? I'm your friend. I, I, we're all friends here. We're trying to have a good time. So what I'm gonna introduce to you now is if you are in the United States and 21 and older, uh, or you just don't give a fuck, whenever I take a drink, Go ahead and take a drink with me. If you need to, go ahead, pause the video, go up to your drink cabinet, pour up some shots, crack yourself a beer, open a bottle of wine, I don't care what it is, when I drink, you drink. This is gonna be Two-Face Talk drinking game, ready? Tonight, uh, what am I drinking here? Tonight I'm drinking Malfi, uh, blood orange flavored gin. This comes all the way from Italy. I'm not, a, you can already see, I filmed this video now, five times. I fucked up five times, just being totally honest. Uh, I took ten shots trying to film this video for the third time before work today, and that was a mistake. Uh, don't tell my boss. And uh, I lost the footage, so that's why this bottle, it was a brand new bottle. Um, yeah, that's why that happens like that. But now I got ten more shots right next to me, and uh, yeah, here's the first shot to losing all the footage and taking way more shots of gin than I need to. Now, I've had this gin a few times now, like 30, 40 shots of it, so I can tell you uh, the taste is complex. It, uh, the, the orange, when you sniff the bottle, very fragrant, uh, it's very citrusy, it's very sweet smelling, but when you take the shot, it's not so sweet, it's very, it's a subtle tone, and then you get that gin flavor, right? I don't know if you're a gin drinker, I definitely am not. I know what I like to drink and I stick to it, but that's why I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone. Each video, I'm trying to have a new drink. So if you went up to your drink cabinet and you found something you like, leave it down in the comments below. What are you drinking when I drink? I wanna know, maybe I'm gonna have it on, on my next little thing here, right? Maybe I wanna give it a go. Maybe I'll let you know what I think. Maybe I'll say, you're full of shit. Why are you drinking that garbage? But anyways, let's jump right into it. We're going to get rolling with the story of my Instagram getting hat. So how does this all start? It started with me chilling on my Instagram, right? I'm sitting right here in this very spot. I'm doing my research. I'm doing everything I got to do, you know, to help my brand. And uh, I'm flipping through. I'm scrolling through Instagram. I'm looking at... Um, Pages which I think have, you know, the same type of aesthetic 
as me or as my target audience or, or the people that like the type of music I create, what are they looking at? And I'm trying to figure out, I'm looking at Trash Gang, I'm looking at Dark Tones. Uh, Dark Tones is the page I've been on, I've been featured on Dark Tones YouTube before. Not trying to brag, but I have. So I'm looking at these pages saying, how can I be better? How can I do all these things? I'm doing all these calculations, right? And I get a pop-up. It says, oh shit, you need to re-log into Instagram. Now I know sometimes Instagram does this thing where, where they, they make you re-sign in just to make sure that you are legit, you are the guy, you still know your password, and if you don't, then you can re-update you know, update it, and, and uh, whatever, you'll be on your way. So I hit, no problem, click, uh, I'm just gonna re-sign in and uh, we'll be good. Nope, I was terribly mistaken when I go to re-sign in. What happens, it tells me I put in, you know, Two-Face Music Prod, I put in my little password, and, and it says, your account doesn't exist. I say, what do you mean? What do you mean my account doesn't exist? I've been running up this account for almost seven years, and I was almost at, I say almost, I was almost at 9,000 followers. Now, I'm gonna put on the screen here what the guy, uh, changed, it was Two-Face Music Prod, it's no longer Two-Face Music Prod, he changed it a little bit so that I would have a harder time getting back. I'm going to put that on the screen so you know who's the fraud, right? Because I'm the real Two-Face, that's me. Um, yeah, it's like Two-Faced, II Music Prod, underscore, something like that. Anyways, it'll be on the screen. So, I didn't know at first that I was hacked, so I, I'm just trying to recover my password, set a new password, and thinking I'll be on my merry way. Yeah, I was terribly mistaken when I, I saw the email, it, it, you know, it tells you the email it's going to send the recovery code to was not my email. So now I sent the email to the hacker. So now Instagram is helping the hacker, it's letting him know, uh, you know, this guy's trying to get his shit back. So I said, well, I didn't get the email, let me try the phone number. So I'm saying, I, I sent the code to the phone, and I'm saying, why am I not getting a code? Well, it's very, it's very simple, okay, and he put his phone number in and his information. So now it also sent not only an email to his phone saying the real Two-Face is trying to get his shit back, it sent a text message to his phone saying he's trying to get his shit back again. So that doesn't help my case. Uh, here's to all the fucks just like me getting their shit hacked, this one's for you. Something I noticed about this drink, it gets better and better the more you drink it. And before I started this video, I had myself a Bailey's and coffee because I was feeling a little uh, down in the dumps from, from having to, uh, and tired from having to make this video over and over and over again, but I don't want to lose my energy for you guys. This is big business. I, I I can't like not give you my whole self because I'm tired. I'm not a little bitch, right? We're gonna do this. So uh, I said, Instagram, work with me here. What can I do? What can I do? And they said, here's what you can do. Uh, take your phone. We're gonna send you a link where you can take a video selfie of yourself, right? And what it does is it pops up on screen and it shows a circle and it says, put your face in the circle. Okay, yeah, no problem. My face is in the circle and it gives you arrows, right? Like look left, look right, look up, look down. And if you have photos on your Instagram account, it will then, you know, register how you look and register the photos in your profile and, and calculate if it's really you. No problem, did it, sent it in. Uh, I, I got an email back from Instagram like a day later, the next morning, whatever it was, and they said, uh, guess what? You're denied. Cheers to all the fellas out there getting denied. So I say, what the fuck? What is going on here? What can I do? Because at this point, I'm getting flooded with messages. All because 9,000 people, hello. I've built up the trust of all these people, hello. They really believe that in my cause and all this. They trust me, right? Which is, I, which is why I hope nobody uh, really follow through with giving this guy money. And, and they're telling me, yo, your shit got hacked, your shit got hacked. And I got so many messages, I'm telling you, I'm sick and tired of people telling me I'm hacked. That's why I'm making this video. I know I'm hacked, believe me. It, it, it's, it's, it is what it is. So, so then Instagram says, well, you can send in another video. There's a lot of different variables. It's not real people that are going through your video and saying, is this the same guy? Because if it was real people, it would be obvious that I am the real guy. I am the real guy, right? There's no way around it. 
But they say it could be the lighting, you could be too close, too far away, and all that type of thing. Maybe you shaved, maybe you're looking different, and it's not registering. Well, guess what, Instagram? I got news for you. I got over 300 photos of myself on that page. But that's okay. I'll do it again. I'll send it another one. So I sent it in. Left, right, up, down, whatever, blah, 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 the whole, the whole shebang. And guess what? Denied. I did that process six times. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six times. It never worked. Now I'm a, I'm a you know a spiritual person and all that type of thing. I believe everything happens for a reason. And if you don't know the reason right away, it's just because the universe isn't ready to bestow it on you, right? You have to go through some things to learn what the real purpose of it is, right? So like now that this has all happened, I said to myself, well, Dan, I'm going to have to make a new Instagram. I can't just stop. I can't just let all these people down that have been following my movement this long, right? They believe in me. And, and, and to be fair, I believe in myself. I can't let myself down by not doing anything about this. So I got a new Instagram. I'm going to put the Instagram here. So if you feel inclined, you can go drop me a follow on the new Instagram because most of the followers that follow me don't know where to find me. They don't know what my new Instagram is. So here it is. Go check me out. I've only got like 20 followers right now because I just got it going again and it would be a great help if you could do that. So, I mean, there, there's a few ways at looking at this in a positive light, there's always a silver lining. I don't care what the situation is. You know, someone once always told me, you know, like if I was having a bad day, I'd say it, like I'd tell this person, like, you know, uh oh, when I was in school, like I got an F on this test. Just like an example, you know, I did get Fs in school. But, uh, or, or my dog just died, or, or, I don't know, any situation you're in, it could literally be anything. And they would say to me, you know what? If that was the worst thing that happened to you all day, You've had a great day, you know, because there's always someone who's out there and got it worse than you. There's always somebody who is, who, who has had the worst day, right? I mean, there's so, there's so many people, you can always say there's someone else who's had it worse. So, so why would you put it on your own shoulders and, and, and be upset about that, right? Here's the silver linings. So the next question is, what is or what are the silver linings to my situation? What could possibly come out of me losing all these followers after building it up for so long? You might ask. And I'm glad you asked, which you didn't, but I'm going to tell you anyways. Here are the silver linings. The silver linings are this. I recently, uh, if I have photos of it, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find photos of it. I'm looking around like there's going to be fucking printed photos of it. But if I can find the photos, I'm going to pull them up on screen because it's real shit. I'm not lying. I'm not capping. I'm not even, I'm wearing the hood, but I'm not capping. Uh, I, I had some famous people, real famous people, people who, who are legit in the music industry, people who, who mean business, who are not slowing down anytime soon, fucking with my Instagram page and fucking with my movement and finally seeing what I was doing. Now, it would be a shame if they continued to look at that page or if they got messages trying to be scammed, that would be a shame. But here's the thing. I dropped a few calls. I said, yo, uh, because this is how the business works, right? You help somebody, they help you. Everybody works together. That's what this channel is. That's why I do the giveaways, right? We're all friends here. We're all trying to, and that's how it is. So you want to be, you know, good, positive enforcement in the industry. It's like a big net, right? Like all these people that are in the industry work together and, and it forms this weave of people. So I made, I called my people. I said, yo, uh, my shit is fucked. What can you do for me? Can you unfuck me? So now, here's the scoop. These famous people are aware of what's going on with my page, and, and they know now that what's going on. So, And I haven't made any posts yet on my new Instagram because I want to make sure I get all these people on board at the same time when, when I start uh, dropping again. So now when I start dropping, it's not gonna be, oh, just recently these famous people have been fucking with me. As they post more and more and more, uh, they said, yo, we're gonna help you out, we're gonna get you back where you were at least, and, and you know, we're gonna show your support because we believe in what you do. I said, thank you so much. So now, uh, it won't just be they're fucking with him now, or they're fucking with him temporarily, or they just happen to come across it. It's gonna be they're fucking with him on everything he does. Every post that I make, you're gonna be able to go and see famous people fucking with your boy. Why? Because I provided them with value at one point. I'm not going to give away my secrets, right? 
but I provide them with value and now they are willing to help someone like me gain a little bit of traction. That's silver lining number one. Here's to silver lining number one. Now, talking about making multiple posts and looking at the whole thing as a whole, uh, now when you look at my Instagram, once I start making posts again, as you guys know, I just recently started this new aesthetic. It's not a new aesthetic, it's just one that I have finally become brave enough to bring to the table and show myself as this, right? Like, like I said in the other video, I never thought in a million years I'd be wearing eyeliner and all this type of thing, but I know that that's what my music sounds like. I need to look like I sound and all that type of thing. So now, when I'm making posts on the Instagram, it's all going to be the same. It's all going to be uniform, it's all going to be the aesthetic in a package that I'm ready to now deliver. Whereas, my old Instagram, you could scroll and look back, and as you get further and further back, I look less and less professional. And that's a big thing in this industry. You need to be creditable, and you need to be professional, and you need to help build that weave, that net of, of connections, which hold us all up together, right? So now I'm going to have the aesthetic all in a package, I'm going to have these famous people flocking with me, and that's two great things. The third thing, I mean, there's many positive things, but these are the major three, and the last, the third thing is this. Now, I mean, since I've been doing the Instagram six, seven years, whatever it is, uh, they've changed their, their algorithms, they've changed, you know, their terms and policies, and for that reason, uh, I may have fallen short of some of these policies, and, and I could have had strikes on my account. I know for a fact, when I used hashtags and that type of thing, they never went through it, and it wasn't pushing me to new people, my likes were restricted. And it sucked. I mean, there was, there's definitely a way out of it. I would come out of it in time, but now I have a clean slate. Now I know what I'm doing. Now I'm going to have the whole package. And then when these famous people fuck with it, people want to share it. Because now they're like, I know that guy. And these, these dudes are fucking with him, and I know him. And they want to share in my success now that they see success, right? So with this clean slate, Instagram is going to see this. They're going to see this fucking brew coming to, to uh, you know, fruition. And it'll help me get further faster. It's not about I lost everything I had. No, that's not what this is about. It's about now I can move further faster. And that's what I had to lose. You know, I had to lose a big piece of my career, which is how I promote things and make money. Yeah. But in the long run, you got to look at these things for longevity, right? You got to look into the future. How is this going to help me in the future, right? Here's the longevity. That was a potent one. Damn, we're getting slapped out here. Whoa. So that's basically what happens. And, and I can't deny it. I, I can't run and hide from it. I have to start new, keep holding on to these positive things. And, and that's how we do this. We keep grinding. Like we said, all we do is grind, baby. It's it. There's nothing else. Sleep. Eat. Sometimes uh, I, I go to work, I come home, I sit in the studio, I study my craft, I make my songs, I do these you know, two-faced talks, all for you guys so you can sit down and, and, and witness it all, right? I mean, I've been doing the music for a long time, but now with the two-faced talk, I can sit down and explain myself what's going on, what's happening, and now people will have a catalog of the history of what I'm doing, and that's important. Imagine if, if someone like X or, or, or any of these people, even Lil Peep or someone, had their own little show where they just talked about their craft, where they are, where they're moving. He, it, it would be so crazy to look at now. And that's what I'm trying to do for the future, right? That's what we want to do. And I'm also trying to get some big artists come on my show so that they also have the opportunity to get some things off their chest or, or talk about where they are and that type of thing because then I can provide artists with the value of having that same type of thing. So, I got three shots left, right? One of which I'm saving for a, a special occasion and, and you'll see that. But, um... Yeah, that's what that's what happens. Has this ever happened to any of you guys? I mean, have you ever got your account back? I mean, at this point, I don't want my other account back. I just don't want them to be ruining my relationships with these people that I have built relationships with. That would really suck. I mean, because they don't know how to get a hold of me now. And, or if they would have to do work to do so. And if, if, my, if this new hacker guy is just pissing them off, why would they do the work to find me? They, they, they just think it's me. They say, fuck you, get out of here. And, it, and that would be a shame. But that hasn't really happened. Only a little bit, but some people have gotten a hold of me and said, you know, this dude's a dickhead. Which I agree. So, without further ado, go ahead, 
follow me on the new Instagram, that would really be great. If you didn't yet, go ahead, leave your comments below so you can get entered into the next drawing if you missed the, the other one. Now you don't want to be late because it takes time for me to film these videos and, and you don't know when I'm going to be filming them and I'll get to that in a second. And uh, yeah, one guy, he, he posted just like, I think it was like 20 or 30 minutes, not even, before I made the next video which got deleted, which doesn't really matter. Um, and yeah, you don't want to be late or miss it. So make sure you get your comment in right now if you're still watching. Get your comments in so I don't want anyone to want the merch and miss the opportunity to get it for free. I know right now it, it's hard times for everybody and I want to offer that to you, right? But if you want to, you know, support your boy uh, regardless and you want to look good while you're doing it, be careful, don't look too good uh, because you can do that too. I'll put the merch link down below and you can buy some of my merch and yeah, that's, that's a good way to support me because I make money from that, you get the merch, and, and that's our exchange. Or the number one way to do that would be send me money directly through Cash App. And I said that in the last video, I didn't expect anything to come of it, I really didn't. But guess what? Somebody sent me cash straight away. And I thank you for that. And it was oddly specific, it said, get yourself a McChicken. So I did. That day, I went out, I bought a McChicken, I took a bite, I processed the flavors, I said, whoa. This is the best fucking McChicken I've ever had in my life. You know why? Because I earned this dollar for this McChicken doing what I love. And that's what it's all about, right? That's what we're about here. This is how we do it. So without further ado, let's get into the drawing for the free merch, baby. Let's get it. Damn, isn't that a nice fucking still frame? Look at that. I look like I got fucking beaver teeth. Damn. Catch your boy in the fucking pond chopping wood. Anyways. Uh, Two Face Talk, Rap Me Monday, let's get it. It's got, right now, it's got 1.181. It's got the description. It's got, you know, 35 comments. It's not an even number because it hasn't registered my latest reply. Someone just got in there uh, 31 minutes ago. Shout out to you. And look at him. Look at what he says. He says, I need to grab my shots for this. Shouts out to you. I know we're out here having a good time. But here's all the comments. Now... This is what we're looking at. Okay, the lower, the lowest you can go is comment one. The highest you can go is 17, right? I'm gonna give this a click. The result is gonna show right where that three is right now, right? And we're gonna give it a click. We're gonna give it a click and see who's the winner. Ready? Three, two, one. Comment number 14, congratulations, you, yes, you are the very next winner of the Too Faced Talk merch, thank you for playing. So here you have it, folks. Uh, that winner wasn't just selected now, I still had the footage from the very first version of, uh, you know, this go, I know I filmed this a few times now, but I had the original footage from the first time I did this, and Joe, you are the lucky winner, number 14, congratulations, let's hear it for Joe, everybody. The very special shot that I was saving, I just spilt this all over myself, I'm getting a little tipsy at this point, I hope you are too, but here you are, Joe, this one is for you. So... Thanks for sticking with me. I really appreciate every single one of you that takes the time out of your day to, to watch my Too Faced talks and, and to see what I'm talking about and, and have a good time with me, right? Because like I said before, you guys are my homies. You guys are my friends. We are ride or die. You know, we are really out here doing this. And like I say, in the Warcast, if you don't know what the Warcast is, go check out the other videos I made. I talk about Warcast. I don't want to get into it too much. But I'm the host of my label's podcast. It's called Warcast. And we talk about this type of thing all the time. And, and if you like the Two-Faced Talks, I don't have a lot of them out yet. And if you're trying to really binge this content, please go ahead, take yourself to the Warcast because I interview artists on the label. You know, I, I even interview people like Snowy Joe, uh, who's a big content creator from the UK. If you don't know who it is, he makes real good content. Uh, you're definitely going to go and check it out. Uh, also, uh, Snowy Joe is about to release a video where he did a uh, like a hide and seek type deal with uh, the Prime Jink from KSI uh, and Logan Paul, I want to say. And they don't have it available in the UK. So after the interview uh, I did with Snowy Joe, I said, yo, you're trying to get these Prime drinks. I'll get them and send them to you because we have it here already in the United States. 
So he was very grateful, right? He had he came on and, and he did the interview with me, which I was thankful for. In return, I sent him the prime drink so he could be better at making his content and making his ideas come to fruition. I, I say all these things because I want to show example after example of me doing what I talk about, right? Providing people with value and getting it in return and, and all that type of thing. So, if you didn't do it yet, you're definitely slacking, you're going to want to go and leave your comment. I'm telling you this for your own good, not for my good, for your good. Now, it is for my good, but really, in the long run, the merch comes out of my pocket, right? Even though I'm giving it to you off my site, yes, I still have to pay for it, and, and I'm not saying that to make anyone feel bad, I'm just saying that because I am providing you with legit value, right? And it takes two seconds to leave a comment, so you'd be silly absolutely silly not to leave your comment. So, thank you guys all for watching. This has been an excellent episode of Two Face Talk. I still got two shots here, hold up. Here's to everybody watching. Um, yeah, so so thanks for chilling with me. I'm gonna, oh, I, one thing I almost forgot, see? I'm getting a little too sloppy out here. I'm gonna be making a schedule for how I drop these videos, right? I don't want to just do it when I can. What I'm doing right now is I'm trying to figure out how much I can hit. I'm spilling this all over the place. I gotta put this down. Oh my god! So I, what I gotta do is figure out how much I can handle. I do a lot. I work for uh, you know Warcast. I'm working with War Media. I'm doing the Two Face talks. I'm trying to run my own Spotify you know campaigns. I'm trying to get my Instagram back up. I'm talking to these famous people. I've got a lot on my plate. But guess what? We eat it up like it's our fucking last meal because this is what we do with all. We do is grind. So I will be making a schedule. It, it, I, I haven't come up with a schedule yet, but it will be released soon, most likely in the next uh, Two Face Talk or the one after that. Very soon, I'll be telling you the schedule. So it'll be like, guess what? Look for the Rap Me Mondays on every other Monday with a, a normal Two Face Talk in the middle, or maybe I'll do something like a Freestyle Friday. That's something I've been thinking about. Would you guys like a Freestyle Friday? Yeah, come on, let's hear it. Freestyle Friday, let's go, baby. Welcome to Radio Station 222 with your host, Two Face, the only freestyle left on this planet that does it for real. All jokes aside, I appreciate you guys for chilling with me. This is my, uh, this is my, this is, what is this? This is, uh, this is Malfi uh, uh, Italian uh, uh, blood orange gin. It's my number 10, as you can most likely tell. I definitely can't tell. I can barely count to seven, but it's been real. It's been fun. Thanks for sticking with me. Let me know what you're drinking in the comments, and I'll catch you next time, you third eye gang bangers.